and welcome back to Wilderness Inquiries Trail Tips and Tricks. I'm Justin, and today we're going to learn how to tie two versions of the fisherman's knot. The fisherman's knot is a knot used to join two lengths of rope together. Now the name can be deceiving because this knot is actually most associated with rock climbing today. Let's go and show you how. In order to tie this knot successfully, you're going to need two ropes of the same diameter, or the same size. Next, you're going to want to lay them parallel to each other, but you'll want your working ends traveling away from each other, so they should be laying in opposite directions. For this first version, we're essentially going to be tying a simple overhand knot that will secure these lines to each other. So let's follow this step by step. Here we have my green rope, here we have my red. First, I'm going to pass my red rope underneath the green, like so. After passing it underneath, I'm going to bring it back around and lay it on top of both the green rope and my red rope. You'll see that we formed a loop. Next, we're going to pass that red rope underneath and through that little loop we just made and pull tight. Next, we're going to do the same thing with our green rope. We'll start by passing it underneath our red rope, bringing it across and laying it on top of both the red and the green, forming a similar loop. We'll then pass our working end underneath the green rope and pull it through the loop and pull it tight. Lastly, all you have to do is pull the ends together nice and tight. Your final knot should look something like this. You'll have, again, your working or your tails traveling away from each other. You should have what looks like two X's on one side and then two coils that travel parallel and look nice and neat on the other. Now, this should be strong enough to hold, say, let's say you're hanging a clothesline or you're trying to set up a rain shelter. This should be good and weight bearing, but shouldn't necessarily be used in a life and death situation. The next knot we're gonna show you, the double, can be used, like for example, rock climbing. The second version of this knot is known as the double fisherman. And all we do is add a second overhand knot to drastically increase its strength, allowing it to be used during dangerous activities such as rock climbing. In order to tie this, we're gonna have the same setup as before, two ropes of the same width or diameter, parallel to each other with working ends traveling in opposite directions. Make sure to keep track of where each rope is positioned in this example, I have my red rope on the bottom, my green rope on top, and I'm gonna to wanna to keep them that way as I'm tying. So first I'm gonna go ahead and pinch near the center, making sure my red and green are properly in place. Next, I'm gonna take my red, I'm gonna pass it over my green, bring it underneath, and then pass it over on top again, and bring it back underneath, like so. You'll notice what I've done is I've created essentially a figure eight around my green rope with an X in the center. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my working end here and I'm gonna pass it through this first loop, underneath the X and out the second loop, like so. So through, underneath and through. And then I'm gonna tighten. Done properly, you'll notice that the knot forms a nice neat X here. Now all we're gonna do is essentially the same thing on the other end. So with my green rope on top, my red rope on bottom, I'm gonna take my green rope, pass it underneath the red, give myself plenty of line, bring it over the top and bring it back underneath. And you'll notice again, I formed what looks like a figure eight with an X in the center. Lastly, I'm gonna take my working end, pass it through the first loop underneath the X and out the second loop, and then tighten. And again, you'll notice, if done properly, it cinches down to a nice, neat X. Lastly, all you do is pull on the standing end of each rope, and the notch should, if properly, cinch down onto each other. So on one side, you should have some X's, and the other, two sets of parallel working ends. So there should be a neat coil on one side, and two sets of X's resting against each other on the other. And like we said, with this knot on properly, it can withstand a tremendous amount of weight and can be used in a variety of situations. Thanks for tuning into this week's segment of Trail Tips and Tricks. Hopefully this knot will come in handy on your next adventure. I'm Justin from Wilderness Inquiry, 
wishing you happy trails, and don't forget to share the adventure.